So thank uh, you for being with us today. Yeah, thanks for doing that. I was like, I hope somebody starts this right now. I don't. Thank have, you. Guys. I don't have it in me to start anything right <laughs> no, now. No, thank you guys for joining us today. This is a. Uh, this is, you know, we've been so busy. I think we've been neglecting people. Not neglecting. That's a strong word. It's a very strong word. That's a strong word. I think people see. I think we've failed in our duties. <laughs> I think we're I a little bit behind. Yeah. Yes, I think we're true. a little bit behind. And there's a path able. forward. It's a good spin. All we got to do is just, it's one step at a time, bro. That's where we're at right now. I'm yeah. so tired. We're a little behind, dude. <laughs> yeah. what, I've been naturally waking up at 3.30 in the morning, and I, I can't not do it anymore. No, oh, no. I'm just now on and alone. That's you against your brain. It was because I've been waking up every mo every morning for the baby. Yeah, I know. So now I'm just I'm locked into it, and like I can't. And she's not always gonna act like that. I know, and it's and like, dude, and I'm like, I was planning on starting to get up at like five thirty anyway to get like a jump on my whole family to like enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> oh, dude, watch a little bit of cartoons, eat some cereal. I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get up and write, Tim. Right get, when I wake getting up, getting up before your family so you could play video games and eat cereal. That's, pretty, <laughs> that's great stuff. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's just doing what you want to do. That's all. Mm -hmm. That's all that matters. Yeah. So I'm gonna wake up and do what I want to do. So you're gonna get up at two thirty. Yeah. No, but I, I wake up right now at three thirty in the morning, and it's like. I've been fighting it. It's been happening like all week, and I've been like fighting it. And like no, and I've been like trying to make myself fall asleep. Today I was just like, I'm up, and mm. I just started my day. Nice. Now, although I did, I did lay there for about an hour, but around four o'clock I started my day. You loafed about for an hour. Just laid in my bed and it was like played mind games. I was like, dude, who even cares? <laughs> I did. I was like, who Wait, cares? What mind What's your you big play? mind I played game? Played the mind game of being like, I don't even care if I fall asleep. Got him. Oh, exactly. Got him. Yeah, I thought you were like, talking about. There's this autistic guy on YouTube <laughs> named Oli Lilia, and he he's dude the most autistic man to ever make a video. And he had the, he was making a video game in his home, and he said, "This is my this is my brain game. This is the video game that I see when I close my eyes, and I always have since I was a child." What? And Wait, it's like out of his home, like a physical, like no, like from home, like oh, he was like, like a it, guy just sitting that. in his room on a very old computer programming the worst game of all time <laughs> it was like the most 2d flat but like he was it's just like game. he was yeah, dude. <laughs> you gotta give him that that's kind of impressive you yeah. and it's it's very compelling stuff i think he took his youtube down years ago but it's like compiled somewhere yeah Oh, dude. All right. We're, we're actually, we might do an entire thing on Oli Lily. Uh, He's the, we're going to do a deep dive on him. Not today, but. It's pretty fascinating, dude. He, it's you're gonna get even, sucked in. Did you know what he was talking about, though, when he said brain game when you close your eyes? Oh, yeah. It's kind of like. For sure. Fuck, dude. That's, a, that's like a were thing. Were you like, sad for his brain game compared to bro, yours? Did you, when you were riding in a car as a kid, did you ever imagine like Wolverine trying to keep up with your car on foot and like jumping on all the shit that you were going by? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was always racing all the cars. Yeah, I was in my, I was in the back of the car, and like any car that passed us, I'd be like, "That guy's out of the race." <laughs> then any car we passed, I'd be like, "Yes, we're winning." I used to do this all the time, dude. Then the, it was the craziest oh, thing was the other <laughs> a, a month ago, two, whenever during summer at some point, I was driving with Maya. It was nighttime, and she was like, "Dad, get ahead of the truck." We got to get ahead of the, go, go past the truck. And I was like, are you playing the same thing? <laughs> I was, dude, I was so pumped. I'm like, dude, I was watching me. Yep. I got, we were in like, in bumper to bumper, like in shitty traffic on 95. So like that lane, would, like my lane would stay and that lane would move and a truck got ahead of us. She was like, you got You saw it in her. her. You're like, I think she's got it. I think she has it, dude. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. To play the, the weirdest game possible with yourself. And I kept getting in front of the truck, dude. And it was, we were both celebrating. It was so fun. <laughs> Just being her. I'm like, dude, look at that truck. Fuck that truck. And I fucking try it. Pass Damn, truck, man. Dude, yeah, in, my, in my little car fantasies, I think I was Tim's Wolverine. <laughs> you want to be, be out of the car? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, I was constantly fantasizing about a reason to have to climb out of the window and onto the top of the car for the family. Oh, you know what for I mean? sure. You want a like, Teen Wolf. Yeah, get me close. To, get me close. Get me close. I always wanted to be manning a machine gun on top of a car. That's oh, pretty fun. Not against, like, civilians. In, like, as, like, a hero. Yeah, not, yeah, yeah. How, how much, apocalypse type. Realistically, yeah. how much would it cost to set up a, a, just that final level of American Gladiators? It's, the tennis ball. Tennis ball, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that thing. I yeah. mean, you got to hide behind the obstacles and, like, then... Dude. I mean, you got to imagine technology is so, like... If you were trying to buy like a a computer from that time, it'd be incredibly cheap because it's all you. You know what I mean? Obstacle courses are so advanced now that we could definitely find a tennis ball gun for cheap. That's what I'm saying, saying and yeah. build some fake mountains because they're all about American Ninja Warrior now. How much would you pay to go through the final level of American Gladiator? American Gladiators. That was probably my ultimate fantasy of going with that lad. Dude, I, like, I, dude, I, mm. I knew I could dodge those tennis balls. Well, I, I was if, like, dude, yeah. You, God, I would watch that show and be like, what the fuck? I dude? always felt like mm -hmm. my weakness getting there was going to be the the pugil sticks, like the standing on the platform and having to fight the gladiator. Yeah, like, I just 
I, d- I didn't see a path forward for me. Mm. Really? Yeah, I was oh, too. I was dude. too little. The the I'm, ultimate move with those things was Jousting, you do bro. you do like the overhand thing and then the poke at uh-huh. the end. That's yeah. how you get yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you knock <laughs> down yeah. Nitro. I, I had one. <laughs> I had one move where I was gonna jump jump over their first swing, and while yeah. they were off balance, I was gonna. That's when I was gonna get them. That was really like natural dudes versus steroid dudes. That was like a <laughs> really <laughs> sick idea. Be like, let's get let's take guys completely juiced out of their minds and put them up against just like dudes from offices. Mm-hmm. And see what happens. And give them nasty fucking names, and then invent the coolest final level. Uh, that Help them with tennis balls, dude. That shits on the last thing of American Ninja Warrior. Mm-hmm. That's not even jumping close. up a half pipe. It's like get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> it's not even close. Also, those courses are hard. I tried one at a uh, one of those sky zones. I tried to do American Ninja Warrior. What dude. part of it? It's they just I don't know like jumping like from the, hopping like from the thing wall, to thing and then no, the, the wall. first one I tried was like a, a monkey bar type thing and that alone I was that's like, so fucking one percent of the population can do monkey <laughs> so, yeah. bar stuff so yeah, I figured yeah. out dude <laughs> but there, there are little tricks to that like when you're doing that uh, that cycle hand cycle thing yeah. you got to like do a pull up first and this wasn't a hand cycle this yeah. was like grab into this one grab into this one I oh. forget the exact we can go do we could go to Sky Zone and film ourselves Listen, doing American Ninja I'm not trying to give anybody an opportunity to make a racist joke but I'm sick on monkey bar shit. That's fine. I wasn't <laughs> honestly. I didn't even think about. It. <laughs> I'm not. Listen. I was just. I'm just putting out a monkey bar fact about. I myself. I constantly forget we're all not black. So I don't. I didn't even know. <laughs> oh, forget me. By the way, we're all black. <laughs> I'm totally colorblind. I only see everyone as being black. Yeah. I see monkey bar dudes are not monkey bar dudes. That's all I see. That's all I see. <laughs> oh fuck! But yeah, dude. I. uh I mean, we can we got to film ourselves on the American Ninja Warrior course. It's That's that'd be so cool. hard, dude. I know. I would just be so disappointed with myself dude, when I saw how I actually I performed that. Bummed. You you know what you know what will shock you about like the the spider walk where you have to have your hand. I know between I can do that easily. Bro, it's, that was the it's, only way I would travel down the hallway in my house as a kid. Me as well, <clears throat> dude. I'm telling you, <laughs> as an adult, dude, right? I would open my door, I would open my bedroom door and I would. That move all the way down. Dude, That's so nasty. It's not the same with an adult body, man. It's not the same. That's even better. You can put holes in the drywall. <laughs> <laughs> you Dr. Octopus down the hallway. <laughs> 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 I, I watch. Like, I watch. Do we have any questions? Yeah, I got a question. <laughs> <laughs> You're having sags with your girl. So you spelled it S E G G S. Cool. Already off to a good start. You're having sex with your girl when all of a sudden you find her sucking your balls like she's squeezing the juice out of a popsicle wrapper. You feel your bird shriveling with each second. You know if you say anything to your woman, she will never touch those ghouls again. <laughs> but how do you explain your soft bird? How do we handle such <laughs> such burdensome sucking? <laughs> so she's doing a milking is, motion on your balls? <laughs> dude, this is the best. This is written in language like two founding fathers would write yeah, each other. Yeah, can you, can you give and me the... I absolutely burdened some suck last night. Can you go back over the logistics of that? Okay. I, I, yeah, I, I, can I get a, like a pad and a uh, pencil or something? I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so basically he's having sex and he's getting a he's no, getting she's, his balls sucked she's sucking balls painfully sucking balls like he has to tell he's up on my balls he was gonna be like babe he's up on my balls that's, he's <laughs> yeah, that's all that's this whole situation solved by saying babe <laughs> babe i love you and all but take it easy on my balls i've done this myself i got a bit of a hoover at home as well <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, it's like oh, all you gotta do is be like, "Whoa, that's my balls!" <laughs> and I've been like, "That feels great. Don't stop." But like just... you're telling a horse to stop. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. <laughs> there she is. There yeah. I mean, that is really uh, that's truly. Just down, you gotta, no, when, when your wife does this, you got to dig your spurs into her ribs. <laughs> 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 or just being like, are you giving me ball torture out of a kink? That might be her. Your, your wife might have a ball torture kink. Or your girlfriend, whoever this yeah, is. Yeah, but then you get locked into, why do you like it? And you got to go, yeah, if you like it. And then she goes, if you like it. And now she's punishing your balls. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, you're both like, I think they're into this. Then you gotta say yeah, the I safe agree word. With Tim. Then you gotta say yeah. you gotta be like, Bay, Baywatch, Baywatch, Baywatch. You're gonna take it to the limit. You gotta tell the safe <laughs> bay, bay, bay. Actually, let's do the opposite. How about you f- gently caress my balls in a lovingly way? Exactly like I say I love you. <laughs> let's try that, actually. Maybe ball torture is not our thing. <laughs> it's actually not very fun for me to be assaulted in my balls. Yeah, dude. So the fact, dude, here's the deal. Here's the ultimate issue. You're letting your body's telling you what's up. 
you're not telling her the truth, and what happens? Your dick gets soft. Because your body's like, what the mm. fuck are we doing? You you become what discordant with your meat. Why do my yeah. headphones look like I'm retarded? What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I thought I was having a seizure. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> how, did, how did I even do that? Oh, no. Oh, I thought you were doing it on purpose. Uh, no, I didn't know my headphones looked like I was fucking... Like, All right, man. That guy wants to keep yeah. an ear out for the rest of the room. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's he know that I don't know? I looked first of all. I, I could. I'm facing myself, so my left to right is completely backed up. So I kept be. I kept like raising my hand to the other headphone, and being like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> "Oh no, I'm so fucking high." Yeah, yeah. What, I pay. Like, first of all, let me just say to this dude, what a great problem to have. True. Starting off with one of the sickest problems to start with. <sighs> Getting your ball sucked, yes. But I would I'm say, in general, better to be over slurped than under slurped. <laughs> yeah. Dude, also, it, 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 feel, it does. It does you can always feel, work, work it back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It does feel a little feminine, though, to tell. Like to like express how you want your genitals sucked. I actually no think way. I think like a feminine Tom, sound, I like whoa. Saying. Yeah. I think a surprise sound, like oh, whoa. Hey, okay, there now. That makes it like that's exciting, but maybe you know. Cold, or colder, oh, getting out. colder, <laughs> yeah. warmer. You know, just guide her, guide her. Like, what if what passively? If he, what if he gave his genitalia a nickname that they could both lovingly refer to it as? Uh, yeah, like get, you, really why don't you lighten on. up on Dennis, please. Really turn her on with like, yeah. Oh, yeah. ow, Dennis has got your hit a little <laughs> oh, hard on Dennis. Ow. Yeah, you got I've never dude, been into ease that. up on Dennis. Dick naming is a real. There's a lot of dick namers out there. You think? Oh, I yeah. thought they all died in the 90s. No. I thought I think they all, I thought they all got alcohol poisoning from Zima. <laughs> <laughs> that's the bot that's the bottom of dick naming. You've reached the absolute bottom of dick naming. There's nowhere else to go. He's a functional dick namer. You've hit the cervix. He's still going to work, but <laughs> he doesn't have long life. <gasps> oh my god. But yeah, Sid, to your point. That's you. If if it is that, if there is any part of that, you got to release yourself of the taboo of it feeling gay. Yes. To to give instructions for your genitalia. Dude, I'm telling you, I I asked to get my nipples sucked. I have no shame. You asked, or did yeah, you like I, hint? I, I, just like keep putting them near. Her oh, mouth. I request it. See, I'll that, put them near her mouth. That I'll be to like, me is the bridge too far. Like like in no, my no, in my heart cool. of hearts, it like, feels good. Listen, like, I can't help the way I was raised. I'm trying to break myself of this. True. I mean, yeah. But, I, no, no. I hear you, and you're not wrong on some level. I, right now, I'm I'm just very into my bodily wisdom. Like my mm -hmm. body, my body can repair fucking cuts. I don't know how to do that. It can fucking seek out certain cells. If my nipples feel good getting sucked, I'm not going to deny my body that. Yeah. That was a lot of work for me. So I can sit here and comedy podcast, dude. I'm on three hours of sleep. My brain's still working. How? I don't know. <laughs> Just is. <laughs> my bodily, it's my innate. I've been up since yeah. 3 a.m. thinking about my innate bodily wisdom. That's you giving your body a little treat. Here you go, bud. Yeah. Thanks for everything. Yeah, why would I deny myself? I'll give you a little bit of yeah. nipple suck. Well, that's actually good advice. Think about your innate bodily wisdom, dude. Exactly. And that's what I'm telling him. His, his body's being like, bro, there we go. Oh, you don't, you're not going to tell her that it hurts your, yeah. your balls? Your life progenitors within you, yeah. You're gonna it, let her just fucking beat those things yeah. up. Because how about a soft bird for you? And you go, what yeah. The hell? Here's your soft bird now. Because if you Explain guys are that. really, you don't want to talk hard balls. <laughs> talk soft bird. What do you want? <laughs> your body knows what's yeah. up, dude. Yeah. And at some point in the relationship, <laughs> you really put a button on it. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> but go ahead, Sid. You're no, right. I though. mean, but at some point in a relationship, these become our balls. Like, do you want to be? You know what I mean? Like. You gotta treat them. You gotta treat them right. Whose balls? Take some accountability. Whose balls? <laughs> These are our, our balls. balls. Our, our balls. <laughs> Dude. I don't know, babe. I'm just really tired. These are my balls. <laughs> <laughs> what a great question. Man, this guy. Man. Oh my god. Man, what a what a visual ending to that. I hope people are watching this instead of listening. But but no, uh, I. I I I, hear, I understand the pressure I do get, but like, yeah, dude, it's your body, bro. She wants you to be faithful, dude. She says, do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was too far. Mm. But although, dude, that's the reality I think about all the time. It's like that's your sexual partner for life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got. You can't. Why would you hold back with that person? That's what I'm saying. You gotta go nuts. Is go, what you're that's saying. what I'm. Yeah. You gotta go yeah. fucking, fucking go effing nuts. Gas pedal. There should be. You gotta go zero freaking shame. nuts on that yeah. on your lady. Zero shame. No resale value. <laughs> nope. Zero shame. Let it all ha let it all air out. What's what's the worst that's gonna happen? Mm -hmm. They're gonna be like, oh, this is weird. It's like, yeah, well, we're gonna have sex forever. I'm glad I covered this thing. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It's like an eternal quest for knowledge. You're uh, every day you open up a new tome and you blow the dust out of it and you go, okay, is this ancient stuff going to work? Dude, and I'm telling you, people will say, oh, you're just saying, like, it actually kind of rules to be like, all right, I'm going to, rather than like having a bunch of weird sex with strangers, I'm going to have, I'm going to just constantly have sex with one person and just like get a little weirder every single time. Yeah, exploratory. Exactly. Without having to join some like weird kink community because that just takes all the fun out of it. Mm -hmm. The whole idea is being like, this person might not, this might be the weirdest shit ever. Someone's like, yeah, I always love being tied up and having my ass with, hit with a cattle prod. It's like, yeah, all right, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, don't tell anyone that, dude. <laughs> just, just tell one person. That's it. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. I, I think there is too much chatter about this stuff going on on the internet. I'm with you. Yeah, man, I'm I think it you. takes away, and you know what? The fact that people discuss it on Reddit and say stuff like, and my lady parts, like, that does kind of ruin, it makes it way less cool. Yeah, exactly. What's, what's happening to your voice right now? What is that? Yeah, frog oh, in my Louis throat. Armstrong. Excuse me. Yeah, frog in your throat. Sorry, dude. I was getting a little bit sultry. Oh, he's you. back. <laughs> Sorry. Did I get too? Did I get too like hot for you guys for? Dude, a second I just, there? I just felt bad. like it should have been like uh, more melodic. I felt like it should yeah. have been horns playing or nice. something. It felt like an intro to a very sensual. Got a little piece. bit. Got a little bit Tom Waitsy. <laughs> yeah, that's my bad. Well, that's on me. That's a hot button issue, dude. Monogamy is a hot button issue. I don't think it is. I think the. I think the science is settled on. I think all that other stuff. I think being single is pretty weird. The, pe single people are getting just tossed around by the waves. You're talking sex at dawn. You're debunking sex at dawn. What's the, what's sex, sex at, at dawn? dawn? Was that guy who went on Rogan like Ryan? I think Christopher. His name I think is Christopher Ryan actually, like the guy from Winnie the Pooh. And um, he or Ryan Christopher, I forget, but he came out with that whole book being like, I proved. <laughs> that everyone needs multiple sexual partners using evolutionary science. And like everyone started like pushing that book around and be like, oh. babe, I'm just wired. Yeah. I'm just like my brain uses but dopamine. There there is a part of the brain though <laughs> that sees a chick and it's like, well, I don't wanna I don't wanna be with her. I just want her to be allowed to have sex with me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like and then your brain you get to have fun trying to figure out how to have that negotiation with your broad. Mm -hmm. and come to turn come to mutual terms where you're like, Yeah, that fucking worked out. I've never yeah. lived this fantasy. <laughs> yeah, I've never partaken in this. A lot of my, a lot of my sexual fantasies are very litigious. You like to, you like to it's negotiate. Just, it's like the two of us sitting across the table from an arbitrator, <laughs> trying to come to terms S about. Sydney's so deep into this that he's like, try, he's trying for a second time to get his wife to agree, and he suddenly, suddenly regains consciousness, and he's drifting off the road with his family in the car. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! And yeah, I. I guess in a way I could imagine you with maybe another man at no, one whoa, point. Dude, <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, you that guys never occurred. Do you, you guys not constantly bring up your monogamy with your partners? I constantly yeah. bring up my monogamy. Oh, yeah. all the time. Non like, dude, stop. I always tell her, bro, it's just you. You got I don't have any backups, bro. <laughs> mm. We need to get some Bayer aspirin going here. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, kidding, I'm, kidding. I'm being a jerk. I mean, I'm an incredibly patient man. You've had a headache all day. You didn't take anything? Weird. Okay. <laughs> man, I told you I was horny yesterday. <laughs> I have. It's, it's been a nice, it has been nice to be able to like completely become a sexually patient man. It's like, babe, I'll wait. Before it used to fucking it would drive me nuts. You can't get through a pregnancy if you're not ready to. That's what I'm make saying. Uh, dude, the fact that I, oh my God. That's, that would be the craziest shit. Are we still talking about a question? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I thought it was a new question. This is the most uncomfortable topic, but I, all I think about is my body's intelligence and monogamy. <laughs> get, a, get a fucking job, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are not the most important questions that we discovered. So, oh, here we go. If you could guarantee that a dude with a, had a, okay, so if you can guarantee that a dude with a hot wife had a smaller penis than you, would you be down to wife swap? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. These are the type of negotiations I'm talking. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here's the thing. You can't even entertain the question of a wife swap because the second that your brain goes, okay, and what would it be like having sex with that guy's wife? In your head, you go, but as part of this bargain, I must also imagine her husband having sex with my wife. Yeah. And I go, now nah, that's too much. I'm not gonna do. I don't want to do that. Yeah. I'm good. I step away from the table. Yeah. True. This isn't a path I want to go down at all. Yeah, I mean, that's the beginning of holding the fucking webcam is being like, oh, babe, <laughs> you're doing so babe. good, babe. Oh, babe, that's <laughs> fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, wife swapping is... No, dude, I would never want for my wife to get small birded. What the hell? Fair That's point. the other side of that coin. It's also, how would you guarantee it? That's the question. That's the question within the question. How am I going to guarantee... So I'm going to have to start... This is We're obviously talking about like a witch's spell or something. Oh, uh, I thought he was talking about doing due diligence. Like I'd have to start like meeting dudes <laughs> with hot wives. No, he's talking about up, magically. Looking into a crystal ball. Yeah, yeah he's like saying... Like their confidence or something. Like, yeah. How do you tell? He's saying a wizard offers you a potion in the woods. And he says, if you take this, I can guarantee when you wife swap, that guy will have a small bird. I'm a realist. I'd have to hire a PI to snap bird shots. <laughs> <laughs> And slide them across the diner table in a manila envelope. <laughs> I go into his office and like pull down the blinds on the door. There, <laughs> very noir. It was the sixteenth dick I'd seen that day. <laughs> <laughs> and from the looks of it, things weren't slowing down. <laughs> oh. Another hog. How do I break? How do I break? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Another hog. Another dollar. Another husband drifting off the road, thinking about his wife being fucked <laughs> by a guy with a smaller penis. <laughs> also, with a magically smaller. Also, penis. you'd have to show the PI your dick. You'd be like, "Here's what I'm working with. Go fetch me something." That's part of the consultation. He'd be like, "Well, what do you like hard?" Like, I'm a bit of a grower. <laughs> Hold on a second. You have to get hard in front of the PI. Be like bounty hunt. There's my bird. I need you to find a lesser than. So you'd have to, the guy yeah. would have to find a guy with a hard bird. <laughs> Having sex with his hot wife. I think this is how it's He's something checking about water park yeah. locker think, rooms. <laughs> this is how there's something about Mary was written. I think this is what happened in the whole movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They were like, well, that's too weird. But we'll just have a PI fuck a lady. <laughs> <laughs> what was the question? Uh, oh, yeah. If you knew a guy, you, you could guarantee. Guy, you, guarantee if you personally could guarantee him. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. There's only one way to do that. It's, I feel like this guy knows that he has a bigger dick than somebody and is trying to get the courage to suggest mm. the wife swap. Yeah. True. He says, if the dads think it's okay. Yeah. Well, we don't, dude. dude I'm here to tell you, man. That's not cool. Here's the thing, though. I, I, I've thought about this, too. What do you think would happen if it just became like... All the rec all the dongs got completely open source to common knowledge. How do you think that would affect society? If someone if someone doxed every dong? Yeah. Every single dong. Hmm. Like it was just That would be your social credit score. You think so? like what do you think would happen in terms of like do you think political parties would shift? Do you think like I think start? I think there would be like I it think became like as a parent. Wait, which party racial. do you think the hogs are in? I doesn't matter. I, mean, yeah, I don't know. Dude, the ho the every... hogs are the minority, dude. Dudes with big dicks would suddenly become like they would have their own neighborhoods where like shit was <laughs> Fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's what I'm saying. They'd be what, taking like street blue chew and shit. <laughs> this, it, this would be terrible. <laughs> uh, they'd be for, so? eventually, yeah. In like a hundred years, they'd be living in the sewers. No way. They'd be living in the sewers, like eat, like eating rat food. You think so? Absolutely. It's such a small minority, and they're hogging up all the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> there's more. There's more GameStop. Store managers than there are dudes with big dicks. Think about that. I'd love to tell myself. Think that. about that. Yeah, I don't think that. I think true. hogs I think are some way more prevalent. Bro. Sleep no, in. dude, hogs, bro. You're I'm always talking about I'm bell curves. In a world of hogs. I'm convinced I'm living in you're, a world of hogs. I'm out of your mind. That's, that's what you're I have. Out to, of your I mind. operate with that, and then I adjusted well, that's, my self-esteem and confidence level for that, and I'm cool with that. Delusional. If, if listen, you if I find out, hogs in the wild. if I find out that there are less hogs than I believe, like oh shit, okay. How, how are you many, find how many hogs do you think there you are? You have to hire a private investigator. <laughs> See if you can wife swap. <laughs> 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 and just when I thought this job couldn't get any weirder, <laughs> <laughs> Matt McCusco walked through my door. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I realized I'd be taking pictures of dicks for the rest of my life. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know. I think I think something would happen. I don't know what would happen, but if it was like complete open source. So here's the, here's the deal. There are big guys who have to like biologically kind of have bigger dicks, and then there's some a bunch of smaller dudes out there that are overhogging. So if you add them together, it's like there's probably a decent amount of hogs out there. No, I'm, yeah. dude, I'm telling you, this is bell, bell curve, law of averages type shit. Really? Mm. Uh, statistically, bigger hogs are outliers. 
First, well, I mean, there's how, a reason there's an average size bird. If I if I picked a number, dude, if you're saying we're all average, that's so sick, dude. Not yeah. that I have a fucking, <laughs> not that I have a horse in this fight or dog in this fight. I don't care, but that would be so crazy. Yeah, you always have the same size bird. Do you think you have a, a below average size penis, um, Matt? Regular dick. Okay. Right you say it. so. If someone could confuse me, exactly. I could get Cy out into it. Dude, that's the Chris Rock bit. Someone, one person can say something and be like, I knew it. I, I bet you, it. I bet you I'm the, the United States national average to the millimeter. Really? I guarantee it. <laughs> <laughs> you think you, I know it in my yeah, heart. You think your dick's square? Totally level? Absolutely not. Fucking Absolutely not, dude. <laughs> per- they're like, perfect. Yeah, no. Plum. You go metric? Plum. You go metric when you measure your dog? No, I... I, I go centimeters I don't even. More. I don't even need to <laughs> see the number. I go centimeters versus more. Yeah. I don't even need to see the number. I'm just psychically in tune with the average U.S. United States male penis. True. <laughs> yeah. All I know is that... I gotta get home. I've learned, <laughs> I gotta I've learned to be right happy now. with my penis. For sure. I'm cool with it. This is the one I got. This is it. It's just so funny. <laughs> yeah, dude, I think this mine's is my dick. dick. I do that all the time. I do that. I do that in the mirror. I go, yeah. this is my dick. I do it all the time. This is it. And then if anyone were to walk in, I'd be like, whoa, shit, dude. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, Hold on, dude. Whoa, whoa. Can't Hold on. Right. <laughs> this is, yeah. Yeah, that's embarrassing. Yeah, it stinks. But I mean, at the same time, I don't know. You can kind of get into it. Yeah. Of what, like, bird size? I, I, like getting, like, especially if you can get yourself super shrived. Like looking like very Greco Roman. Dude, they asked me to like, do dude, it. I look like a marble bust, dude. They asked me to judge the naked roast at uh That's Gang I Fest. don't yeah, I don't like seeing that. And I was like, uh, that doesn't sound bad. He was like, but you'd also have to be naked. And my first the first thing out of my mouth was, Dog, my dick is a secret. What are we talking about here? Is everyone has a dick secret. That's what I'm saying. People can't know about my dick. Yeah, you can't I mean Yeah. You can't spill your beans. Yeah, but what if everybody did? That's all I'm saying. Right, yeah, that yeah. is that okay, right. That why that's why that was a compelling thought experiment. Great job, yeah. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Man, how long have we been talking, Danny? Just out of curiosity. Uh you're at twenty seven minutes. And we've done two questions. That's okay. And, okay. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, true. I guess it's quality, not quantity. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Um okay, we saw that one. Thorough answers. Yeah, no stone unturned. Very true. Um, okay. You think Atlantis is real? I'm Fuck not yeah. Talking about that. Dude, it is. You think it's real? Of course. Well, there it is. Yeah. It's settled. Should I quit my software job and go back to school for mechanical engineering? I hate logging into a remote job to build BS that nobody really cares about. I'm 29, probably will have a kid a year or two, or have a kid in a year or two. I want to make real shit. Mm. So here's what you and do. Boys, and, and he said, and Matt's advice to stay true to my real self has been really questioning my current situation. Uh-oh. Okay. I don't have the guap not to work for four years, but my wife does get papered from a federal government job. That's a big one, too. Even better. <laughs> I mean... He's not asking. He's not doing anything crazy. He's like, dude, you're going back to school for mechanical. You're not going to, like, study yeah. fucking... He needs to hook up with that Atlantis guy. Use his wife's connections in the federal government. Robert Seifer? Yeah. And then actually get to the bottom of this Atlanta shit. He wants to go to school for mechanical engineering, dude. Yeah, definitely quit your software job, dude. Go back to school. Dude, that'd be mechanical engineering. I want to know what he life. means by like, I want to make real shit though. What's he want to make? Probably like bridges. Like cool robots. Mechanical, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, I guess he doesn't want software. I instantly want the robot. Yeah, so- software is tr- truly one of the most soul-crushing jobs on the planet. Really? Yeah. What do you do? You, you kind of just like insert yourself into like computer bureaucracy like you check like you have these daily meetings that i think will drive you to suicide at some point where you your director or boss is saying the same thing he said the day before and then like just changing out like one or two details of like what you're expected to do that day and it's like it's it is almost like a hypnotic weapon and then uh, your day consists of just like revising lines of code Mm -hmm. and then report reporting that you did it and then documenting the work you did and then just it's uh, i mean i it's so monotonous but you make pretty good money but so i so i i would i would probably run screaming from that at, at any opportunity mm-hmm. well my th- yeah i mean <clears throat> dude especially if you're talking about your babes your babes papered it's like dude go yeah. to school that's not that's not that's not like an unheard of thing to be like yo i'm gonna go to school yeah no i phew. 
But I mean, you you have to imagine he's. It sounds like he's pretty set up the way he is. So yeah. taking a step back because you just don't enjoy it that much. I, this is like a, a a concept that's just having a renaissance right now. Yeah, true. Mm. Yeah, it's true. I mean, that's the other thing too. You might get into mechanical engineering, but man, I fucking hate this too. Yeah, you really have to also consider what you're willing to sacrifice to achieve something. Like, what are you willing? How how far? How many steps back are you willing to take before you can take X amount of steps forward? You know what? You know what? One thing I yeah. think happened here is that. Uh, I think the effect that Office Space had wore off when everybody's job started being like very Instagrammy and yeah. like, uh, marketing based. Yeah. I yeah. think they started going like, "Work's fun now," yeah. you know. Yeah, I only have to be here like eleven and a half hours a day, but like we do happy hours and stuff. Yeah, work life balance mm-hmm. is good. And and we have like one dusty treadmill downstairs. Yeah, <laughs> and I can just go back to work sweaty. <sighs> it's like I've always saw that. I was like, "What the fuck yeah. is that?" Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, dude. I will say I just did this. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> How do you feel? Absolutely. Uh, best decision of my life, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I if think so. If you're in a job you absolutely hate, uh, try something else. Maybe it does suck, but you'll never know. Danny's this, tried a couple of things. Bad. Danny's made this change two or three times. Dude, I've been a tattooer. <laughs> nice. I've been a welder. <laughs> I've been a data analyst. Mm. And now I'm a podcast producer. Yeah, Keep dude. trying things. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I agree with Danny, dude. There's, I mean, you've been bludgeoned with bullshit since you've been in school that's not designed to help you figure out what you want to do. Yeah. So I, I would do it because then you're just going to go, you're going to think about this basically forever. And then if you yeah. do one thing and you don't like it, you'll it'll get you closer to what you actually do like. And you'll have Ooh, the, yeah. the ability to just be like, just, just drop jobs. I'm, I was the yeah. same way. If I, I get, like I guess I'm it, fucking out. I'm if fine. that became a dead end, a dead end that, I think that would be a pretty significant dead end. But I I do think that that's still like useful. But they don't have kids. You guys don't even have kids right now. Oh, yeah, yeah true. Dude, you you got to be a dude. leaper. Just keep leaping. Yeah. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, just, yeah I'd I'll fight my boss, leap. actually. Yeah. If I didn't have kids... I would just be screaming every day. <laughs> Dude, I know. <laughs> but Brittany does make fun of me because anytime, if anyone ever asks me this question, I go, quit your job. Just fucking quit it and go to yeah. something else. Unless you're like, I physically Wow, can't. we slowly got into the hot tub of like, quit your job, dude. Nothing, yeah. doesn't matter. I do yeah, it but all the yeah. time. Again, I do. you got to remind a person if they're quitting their job, they have to work hard. Yeah, <laughs> they, you got it. like if you don't have a job, you have to work harder you than when you have a job. You can't quit and chill. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, that's true too. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's so funny. I have nothing. <laughs> yeah, but dude, some people people don't get that part. I know. Like when people when people go into uh, when people ask that question about like quitting their job and getting into comedy. Yeah, oh, dude, I, I tell people don't do that. I, I mean, well, come, <laughs> like, well, don't do that. Let me let me rephrase that. Quitting their job and then going and like going full time as a comedian. Like they're they've been doing comedy for a while. Yeah, and it's just like, dude. Oh yeah, that's you're always going go to ahead. have to work your ass. Yeah, yeah it's that's so always, different. I, I it does people, not compare. The, it's not the same I, though. Yeah, but it's, but people think because it's so much easier work that they don't have to work. I've seen it happen so many times. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think just people mostly have their heads up their asses. That's, that's also true. True. <laughs> true. But yeah, I, comedy, I always see people, comedy, you're just busy all the time, but it's the easiest work in the world. <laughs> I've heard adults, though, be like, yo, I'm thinking to quit my job and doing comedy, and I'm always like, "Like, what, do you have any advice? And I'm like, D- don't do that. Or if you do it, just get ready just for 15 years of your life to flash by and be like, what the <laughs> fuck happened? Yeah. That's what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. And if you're cool with that, then do it. But yeah, there is a... Yeah, man. The I always tell people, if you're, if you're, if you're like not like if you can actually figure out how to like pay for your basic necessities without having a job you don't like, then quit your job and then figure I, out. Your job. When I was still working, which was less than a year ago, I, I got to a point with like my salary, and it happened before I thought it would because I've never made much money. But I got to a point with my salary where I, I, I think I was living like a hair above paycheck to paycheck for the first time in my life. And I was like, oh, this is all the money I'll ever need. Yeah. I became completely unmotivated by money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The second my needs were met and I wasn't like staying up late on payday eve to watch the direct deposit hit. Yep. As soon as that feeling went away, I was just like, oh, uh, I'm a fucking idiot. I spazzed over this forever for no reason. I could have figured this out way quicker if I wasn't such a fucking useless pussy. <laughs> <laughs> but I had to grow. I had to gr- I was a. Gr- it was part of a growth process. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I hear you. Yeah, that was a. Uh, yeah, that's definitely like. Once you kind of figure that out, of like, well, exactly like, what can you do to not have it affect your day to day? That's when money for me it, it does stop. Me. It's nice to have, but it, you go, okay, I can like if my day to day isn't getting disrupted, and someone's like, here's more money. 
or like you know what I mean? Like it doesn't make it doesn't really do anything for you until you've like freed yourself from whatever you don't like. Yeah. For me personally, but some people want to you know they like to get flying by stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm not making any sense. I do I, actually. I do think about like becoming like a uh, a bus driver. I like working for SEPTA and just like buying nice clothes sometimes. Like getting getting into just like showing up to a nice union job. Going home, being like, all right, man, time to browse shirts online. I've thought about that. Yeah, I've been looking to get into 3D t-shirts. So what? 3D t-shirts. What's that? Dude, it's like three, like sick-ass 3D designs. Sometimes they take up the whole entire shirt. I don't really... But they're not actually 3D. Like from the, uh, the Tim Robinson sketch? What was the name of the shirt place? Who's Tim Robinson? Oh. Yeah, I think you should leave. Like yeah, those yeah, kind yeah, of shirts? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm too high. Are you talking about like the pipe dream? Yeah. 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 Are you talking about an actual shirt that goes out into the third dimension or a 2D, 3D illusion shirt? 3D illusion shirt. Okay. When you talk dimensions, please be specific. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I You had me pumped. I thought there was a, th a shirt that goes out into the third dimension. I was like, what the fuck yeah. is this thing? Also, let me just say this too, <laughs> because a lot of people had the idea that Atlantis is one place, but it's a, it's a bunch of places. It's more like the Federation of uh -huh. Atlantis. And... A lot of people would argue that the pyramids are proof of the existence of Atlantis. Fair. I've never heard that. Yeah, I mean, did you just watch that new Kyrie Irving documentary? Nah, I, I try. It's like eleven. It's twelve dollars. <laughs> I'm not paying twelve dollars to watch that, dude. I, it's, on I, it's on Amazon. I, I Amazon. definitely searched it. Though. It was on Amazon. It's not, but it's not free. It's either rent or buy. Okay. Yeah. Said something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're you're talking about in real life wearing Dan Flash's shirts from uh, I think you should leave. Oh, that is that was the, yeah, that was a Dan Flash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, strong. Would yeah. you go? Would you go with the collared version like that? Oh, I don't know if I could do that. I don't know if I'm there yet. Well, but like, why not? You're working your way up to the formal? collared Dan Flash. Yeah, a little formal, formal 3D shirts. But yeah, they, that was the whole point of uh. Sorry, I, I just I remembered what I was trying to say. I was I was fucking having a my brain got like the blue screen of death for a second i was like oh, uh, uh, another thing uh, 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 uh. but the uh <laughs> they say they've done studies where they say happiness stops at, i think it was like something like eighty thousand dollars a year they said like people stop noticing the increases i would as much i would i would agree yeah so mm. that's something for people to consider no it sucks that that's someone already like i feel like i fulfilled a prophecy for what like, but because someone figured that out enough to like, they, they did the math on it, and I <laughs> confirm it. <laughs> yeah, you're like, yeah, that's exactly when I started feeling yeah, like, like, oh, weird. Uh, was I doing it wrong? <laughs> yeah, you're just not yeah. at a deficit. That's all it is. You're, mm -hmm. You know, yeah. our bodies are wired. If we perceive the fact that we're at a deficit, it's like code red. Mm -hmm. Code red. Where's the lie deficit. on that one? Deficit. Deficit. I don't right. have enough stuff. Yeah. I'm Next running one. out of stuff. And some people would even argue that Atlantis is an interstellar community. You know, we kind of got cut off from it. Based well, I don't. On, uh, I don't. Uh, what you call it? I don't deny any of that stuff. I say, oh, hey, what's an opinion that each of you has personally that you don't think your two co-hosts share? Atlantis. <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> there's just a lot of opinions about there about Atlantis. I'm just saying there are theories, there are workable theories out there. No, I, I like you. You know, getting the fucking the skinny on Atlantis. I mean, what, what's the what? What is the what is the what's the thing about it? It was underwater, right? <laughs> What's the thing about was it, it underwater? Well, it was uh, it, as far as ancient advanced civilizations are concerned, it was the most advanced. Like these are allegedly people that have figured out how to use. Uh, it, was, it was Wakanda for mermaids. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> white Wakanda. Actually, it was more of a metropolitan city, from what I understand. And it, and of course, people argue that ancient ancient civilization was way more metropolitan than we think it to be. Dude, Silverfish, do you think Atlantis was real? What do you think about the Nephilim? Y'all still on that Robert Seaford shit? Um, well, I don't know anything about it. I don't I don't really uh I don't know. I was, if they proved Atlantis was real, I'd be like sick. Yeah, I, I could have really used that information when I was 12 and having arguments about it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, if that shit came out when I was a kid, Atlantis was real. Bro, yeah. that would have changed lives. I was more yeah. aliens. Back then, I was like pretty much like, dude, if they prove aliens, it's going to be cool. Well, you had to do battle in every arena. 
Yeah. You had to talk about sick dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah. Are aliens real? <laughs> What's up with Atlantis? <laughs> and then if you had time, you'd look, you'd get a magnifying glass and you'd look at a grainy photo of the Loch Ness monster and go yeah. like, yeah, I agree. It's pretty inconclusive. <laughs> 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 but said you believe, or do you do you hold? I'm, I'm, I'm open ended. Got you. you know. But I, again, I agree with you. Though. I feel like you know society has conditioned us in a way where I don't even think I would be. Like if if I did find out aliens were real, it would just be like, oh yeah, okay. We're, I mean, what's what's the with, what's the fuss with Atlantis? It was an old yeah. land area that used to exist. That's now something else, or like it sank. Like what's, what's the fucking? <laughs> I mean, like aliens are real. They'll have to learn new pronouns again. <laughs> like what, true. What pronouns are they coming with? There. <laughs> no, it was yeah. It was uh, the Great Flood. The Great Flood. Noah's flood is how they they've uh, triangulated with time that Noah's flood was probably the flood that wiped out Atlantis. Really? So it wasn't underwater? It, no, until it, it was. Until it was, yeah. And then did people continue living underwater there? <laughs> or has that just have been to smite the Atlant Atlantean community? Dude, I don't know. I mean, there could have been a fucking city that got flooded. What the fuck? How is this even a conspiracy? Yeah, but it was like, again, if you go by like... Was it the, super futuristic? That's what it was supposed to be. Uh -huh. And then Randall Carl, you know, Randall Carlson and uh, that other dude were on Joe Rogan and they were talking about how uh, the the big impact, the the under driest impact, was a meteor hit a glacier, caused massive flooding all over the world. And you can see like the evidence of the flooding through like the plains in America, like, yeah. the ripples. Like there's actually wave ripples, like giant wave ripples. Like, so all across the world, the the federation of atlantis like all those ancient temples and shit they were all Atl allegedly atlantean design like all across the world where there were giant temples that's all atlantis shit so atlantis was all across okay so they're all across the world of the atlantean knowledge spread yeah yeah and then th i guess what what people are looking for to to prove this is the case is like the atlantean capital which would be like the lost city of atlantis yeah yeah, this this like dovetails into a bunch of ancient people stuff. There's like the that there's this this exists about the Aryans. There's that was a big thing. Hit the hitman is up to about being like, yo, there were these guys way back when who were the <laughs> fucking smartest <laughs> ever, and they figured it out. But then we got separated. Yeah. So and that it, it does it dovetail a lot of that stuff comes under fire because it like Hitler propaganda and like sick shit about Atlantis at some point converges. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I've learned this mm -hmm. at some point it converges and you can go down like the craziest rabbit hole being like wait what huh wait what the yeah. fuck where were they? they what do they look like whoa yeah there's like, a, like me a tower of babo <laughs> a tower of babel mythos to it you know where like the whole world came together got real strong and then like God through a fucking whatever just wiped it all out mm -hmm. and separated everybody yep yeah well there's everything you need to know about Atlantis Sir, um, but yeah, I, I that one never got me. I remember just re that and the flat earth thing. I always looked at it and went, I don't see anything in this for me. It's kind of funny, it is funny, yeah, but it, yeah, all right. So, there's here we go. All right, um, this is terrible. I'm not gonna read that one, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> here. You can read that if you'd like. Oh, isn't it an insult about me? Nah, it's not really an insult, but it's the guy's being very presumptuous. The top one? No, right in the middle. There's like quotation marks. To Matt. You don't have to read. It's all of us. We each have one question. Oh. I don't even read my own question. I should have read it. Um. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you can skip me. Goodness gracious. <laughs> I know, dude. Oh, why don't we do yours then, Matt? Can we see you bring your brothers in and show off in front of your friends? No. You wouldn't you wouldn't bring your brothers in and do like they, kind they of a could, pageant? Oh, like a brother pageant? <laughs> yeah. Now you're talking brother pageant. Cool you know, if you did a Mr. McCusker pageant, <laughs> <laughs> you made your brothers compete <laughs> for your podcast. <laughs> now you're talking. I thought you just said just have them come in. Now that's a whole different event. No, I'm yeah. saying you, there can be only one. You're going to crown one Mr. McCusker. <sighs> I'd want to be in it. Yeah, I guess you'd have to. Yeah. Mr. McCusker. We uh, could Mr. judge it. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be naked. Yeah. You have, you have to be naked to, to judge Mr. McCusker. You have to do. And we're I all going to be wearing suits. You have to do a talent portion. That'd be so sick. You'd have to do a, uh, I don't know, like a high-vis outfit. <laughs> I'd have to open up to my cousins, too. Oh, for sure. 
Those would be like when Latvia gets a lady in Miss Universe or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I don't think I do. The brother, the McCusker pageant would be Yeah, the, the brother McCusker. The brother McCusker pageant. Mr. McCusker, dude. Yeah. And then at the end, we do the last level of gladiators. <laughs> oh, that would be so sick. Now, I want to be in the pageant. The finals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dick size, definitely. We're definitely, we're going to have to bust it all out, too. Mm -hmm. Custom pageant, big like, dude. I mean, hit the tape measure. Uh, yeah, it's part of. That's just part. It's not everything, obviously. Yeah, no, the commission the would the be the commission would be measuring dong. Yeah, yeah I mean, not, I mean, it's not the most important. It's thing not, in the world. but it's weighted. Kind of a, <laughs> girls don't even like them when they're that big. Yeah, they measure it hard and put a laser level on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Um, but yeah, so that yeah, I'll consider that. Uh, to old Sydney Grant, <laughs> sick. Do you know Kyrie Irving? This question. This is a great sucks. question. This question sucks. This stinks. <laughs> to Tim Big Cheeks Butterly, how much coke and Adderall is on the set of Stoner Dad? What the fuck? And can I cuck your wife? <laughs> what a nightmare, dude. Brother. This guy is such a fucking nightmare. What a punisher. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this is the most out of pocket guy I've ever seen on the internet. This is crazy, yeah. dude. <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> this but, is like this is like when a when a buffoon shows up at like a refined soiree and starts like just dipping into the snacks and like <laughs> talking with his mouth full. Like, so what do you guys do? Yo, He's this wearing is, like this boots. shit sucks. Let's get out of here. We get <laughs> fucked up. Well, this house is pretty gay. <laughs> Pushes a lady into the pool. <laughs> yeah, that question was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and then he quotes after he says, "Can I cock your wife?" He says, a "Quote with all due respect, I'd hit out the ballpark." Mark Jackson <laughs> signed. Well, like, cocking okay. my wife means fucking me. <laughs> he just asked if he could fuck me, dude. Oh, what the hell? How come I dudes are trying to fuck me I all the time? I didn't even put that together. He said, "Can I cock your Why wife?" Why are dudes constantly trying to fuck me right now? What the hell, dude? Am I the gayest guy ever? You might be the gay heartthrob of the group. <laughs> yeah. You might be the Lance Bass of Stunner Dads, dude. Bro. <laughs> this is good. We just gotta run with this. What's that? For you to Lance Bass for Stunner Dads. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting fucking chicken hawked. That's crazy. I need, dude, I didn't even read it like that. Unless I'm wrong. No, that's... But I think it's pretty cut and dry. Yeah, I was very offended at the suggestion of any cocaine and Adderall in the set of Stoner Dad. Yeah, that's, that's, that's yucky stuff, dude. Like, what are you talking about? We're like, all what, organic what evidence, over here. What evidence are you seeing of that? Yeah, that's. I, I think that might have been a. That might have come from within that fellow who crafted those fine fucking questions. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might have been it. Yeah. There we go. And that question was written by Coke and Adderall. I know it truly was. What's the <laughs> biggest crap? You've ever taken both length and diameter. <laughs> Dude, I almost pissed myself. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking. Finally, a gentleman amongst us. <laughs> oh. Yeah, how 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 close to completely circling the bowl? <laughs> Has anybody ever made a com an overlapping circle around the bowl? Are you talking about a pile or a coil? <laughs> a coil, coil dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have not gone around the world. No, no, no nobody's ever. I have not gone around the world. <laughs> I was hoping. I uh, how close how close do you think you've ever come? I've never coiled. Mine go right. Dude, when down. I was young, I used to coil. Did you really? Yeah, I used to have some fibrous coils. Are you shaking your hips? I don't know what was that. You were, you were doing like literal shit emoji. Yeah. Laying it down. I think I was like <laughs> shitting so close to the back of the toilet that when it was hitting, it was like sliding around. Like like you know what I mean? Like it wasn't going straight uh -huh. into the water and down the hole. It was hitting the the back and like you must have been at coil. an angle though. I mean, I guess that does happen. People do bowl winders. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was young, when I was, I don't, I don't, I don't, hit, I don't hit that same area. But you've never, you said you've never. I would, ne Morris. I would never be able to measure what I consider to be my my longest because I can't see most of it. I did a complete yin yang one time. <laughs> <laughs> no way. No, of course not, Matt. <laughs> All right, hey, I'll give everyone the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. <laughs> With two little nuggets for those yeah, yin yang guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My God, it just came out like two that. late pinchers. I uh, yeah, but you've I've had floating logs. I I had, dude. I mean, this is gonna sound really lame, but I I found these things online. You can take 
if you're if you're like you might come into contact at a restaurant like if, if i might eat something that has gluten in it which sucks to say out loud i'll take this these like digestive like whatever proteins or enzymes and it's supposed to help break it down and i took them you've got butt narcan <laughs> yeah dude, for your gluten <laughs> allergy <laughs> <laughs> but dude i took them and I just, and the next day I split my ass open. I had like a fucking <laughs> python of a turd and it happened to me for two days. My ass bled. I fucking, <laughs> I breached and I had a shit that was the size of like a football, dude. It wasn't obviously <laughs> not literally the size of football, yeah. but dude, I'm not lying. Like I'm, t I, it was that dude. I took it. That was the widest. It wasn't the longest ever. Dude, Danny, let me see. I'm no, no exaggeration, bro. This came out of me and I was just like. My God, it, it was dude, literally. I was like, I thought that it was stuck. I was like, I got a shit stuck in my ass, and I can't get it in or out, back in or back out. And I had to sit there and I'd be like, Oh, the, oh. the bay doors just, couldn't close. I, I was like, I've never been in this situation. We can't close the bay door, dude. I thought the missile got jammed, dude. I, was like, dude. I got a missile jam. I got a missile jam. I gotta go to the hospital. This has never happened to anybody before. I got a fucking. It's stuck. And I didn't, then I then I pushed a little more. And I went, oh, this is a girthy fella. Mm. And I had to push it out. And it tore me. It split me, dude. Yeah. It fucking. There was split a breach me. in the main hole. It breached me. I had. A, I had a, yeah. It fucking sucked. And then the next day, I had another one. I was like, yeah, damn. <laughs> I, laid, I laid another egg, dude. I was fucking ostrich egg. Dude, there's no way you could take three hole breaches like that. Two, two is my max. Two is dude. max. Shields are down. <laughs> two is my max. I honestly, no dude, shields left. I honestly it was worried. I, I thought I was going to catch monkey pox from that dog. <laughs> That's how crazy it was, dude. I was like, I got that dude, pox. <laughs> Wait, did it have sensuality to it? Did no, it no, it little? was just, dude, it was just <laughs> dread. It was pure misery. Mm. I passed the test, dude. I was like, no thanks, not for me. This is not for me at all. It was, it broke me, dude. <laughs> it broke me. It fucking broke me. You're a crap survivor. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but, yeah, man. Wow. It's that was you but survived that was, a crap assault. No. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get sympathy for my wife. I was like, dude, uh -huh. fucking stretch myself out there. <laughs> she was like, what? I was like, dude, fuck my big came out my fucking ass. I confided in her. I was like, that fucking that was scary. I was genuinely scared. Yeah. Yeah. I was up in Cape Cod, dude, for a wedding. It was that recent. It was that weekend. Oh no! Yeah, I fucking gaped my goatee <laughs> myself, dude. I was full, was full goatee, dude. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, You're making a face at every picture all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> There's 85 pictures of that, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, that shit sucked. But yeah, length. I mean, not lying. I've I've hit that long. It is. It's not whatever. Sure, I think uh, yeah, yeah. we all hit. It. We've all. I put out numbers. Thirteen, fourteen. I, I document it. Is what it is. But yeah, remember maybe. when I sent that Detroit style photo? Yeah, that was <laughs> pretty. Uh, that was pretty intense. Oh, you man. had some nice. You actually had some windage on that. I know. It that really brought that party to an end, though. I really took the enthusiasm out of it. <laughs> that was so funny for send to send that to the, the manager. Yeah. Him, too. Yep. Uh. We got time for a couple more, right? One, yeah, one more. <laughs> Doubt it. We got five minutes left. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so here's here's a good question. Uh, let me see. Here we go. Is nog acceptable if your girlfriend is disabled and can't put it down anymore? Chair disabled. Not to be not brain to be clear. <laughs> Wait. I'm gonna Whoa, read it one more time. Man. Is nog acceptable if your girlfriend is disabled and can't put it down anymore? Chair disabled. Not brain to be clear. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> this is a TPI. <laughs> she had a traumatic pussy injury, dude. <laughs> well, is nog acceptable? No, because here's what's gonna happen. You're 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 gonna mentally get into a place, and maybe I'm being too negative here. It's gotta be. You think this guy's seriously asking this question? I don't care. <laughs> no, I'm gonna talk a, about this. You think it's a, it's, a, it's a thought experiment on finding the acceptabilities of nog? Well, now I'm kind of like, dude, maybe his babe's chair disabled. Yeah, I, it's the same thing. It's, yeah, we're dealing with the situation. I've met a couple of guys with girl, uh, wheelchair girlfriends yeah. who are normal guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is what it is. So Respect I mean, that up, like, dude. So do I, dude. <laughs> See it all the time. Hmm. No, you're going to... Is Nog acceptable? 
I mean, can you live with her fucking speeding into the room and catching you, dude? That's one thing. <laughs> Skidding out. Yeah, if she ever gets a quieter wheelchair, it's oh. over for you, bro. Oh, brother. dude, yeah. Party time's over. Just fucking <laughs> peeling out and doing like a little 180 on you. Fucking <laughs> shit. Fuck. Dude, I feel like if 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 my bet, you know, God forbid, right, ever became like chair disabled, I think the fact that like I I it was like I can't fuck her anymore would make me horny for everything else. I don't think I would need nod. I think I'd just be like, uh, yeah, you'd be eating ice cream while Iggy Pop plays. Lost for life. <laughs> yeah, bam, bam, so you, just, bam, you would bam, completely bam. sublimate your sexual yeah. drive to just an absolute just love to li- like love for life. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. If and only if. Your baby's wheelchair bound and couldn't still give it up. For sure. Yeah, that yeah. sucks. I, it's hard to imagine a, a lady ending up in a wheelchair and not imagining her like sitting in an attic in a dark house, just like watching life out the window. Yeah. But they're not like that anymore. Nah, dude. You can, I you think, can party in a chair. Yeah. <laughs> you really you feel can, dude. You can just party. Dude, I mean, imagine. Same thing. You're just chilling. You're just sitting. It's like standing, sitting. Imagine, uh, the, imagine the throat game. After a couple of years when, you know, she's kind of like back to being able to receive affection again. Yeah. Imagine the throat game when she Bro. when she fully commits to just like, all right, I got to suck this dude to keep him around. You need a wheelchair for yourself. <laughs> you need another wheelchair <laughs> for like 30 minutes after just to fucking <laughs> pilot around the house. Like, yeah, damn. I got I'm nothing to my leg. To move. <laughs> uh, damn, you flush all the blood out of my leg. You flush all the blood out of my goddamn leg. <laughs> I would just pile around <laughs> in a wheelchair in my house and talk like that all day. Dude, she, can, she can suck your dick so much and so good that eventually she regains the ability to walk. <laughs> she'll, she'll, she's going to drain you. You're going to be uh, like a, a little weird green guy with like sucked in cheeks just wondering what happened. She's going to be like, I can't, I, wow, I can't believe True. this. True. It's, like it, this. it's a miracle. And I'd say, babe, you going right ahead and get out there. Go, go ahead. I bought you some boots, man. Go wear them out. I'd lay there. In my chair. I'd lay in my chair. Yeah. I'd say, tuck me in, please, before you go. So I'd say, those boots are made for walking, babe. <laughs> <laughs> before before you nice close the door, com. hand me the Xbox controller, please. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my. And could you carry me to my comedy podcast? <laughs> 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 oh, dude, that's a dream. Dude, she, Bro, imagine if she's got, like, superhero strength, by, and you're just d- deteriorating. Dude, imagine if after this, we're just like, all right, guys, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> and we all just fucking went our separate ways. That would be Danny, hook me up to the lift. <laughs> oh man. I gotta get home and get sucked. But dude, my like, wife's getting wobbly. But it's only like it only lasts for so long. Like after like mm-hmm. two weeks, you start gaining your strength back and oh, you yeah. have to go find her out in the wild before she loses it all. Dude, it you can suck you back to strength. Well, yeah, you back into your chair. Bro, if she has that much of you in her, you'd know you'd have her geo tracked at all times. Yeah. Just fucking no, I think yeah. she's committed to the relationship. I think, yeah. yeah. I think that would get her more emotionally involved in the relationship. Well, yeah, as you gain your strength back, she's starting to lose hers again. Yeah. Right. Do you ever yeah. see the movie Tangled? No. It's like that. Like it's like when like a fairy godmother is like using like a youth to like channel their youth. This is Tangled for Guys. It's Tangled for Guys. <laughs> <laughs> It is. It's like they're using you to channel your youth, and it's really just like an old witch. Dude, just like sitting there like in a they chair. They don't suck you. They turn into an old witch and turn to dust. And you're just getting excited because your toes are starting to wiggle again. You're like, oh, shit. She's going to have to suck me again. <laughs> oh, you know, and like, yeah, she's like, you're, getting... You're not excited to walk again. You're like, She's Dude, getting about... weak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah she'll, she'll, she'll be back. Nice. And you start to just learn all about the universe. <laughs> I don't want to talk about Stephen Hawking right now. <laughs> True, that's a sore subject. All right, uh, all right, all right let's do it.